night on his Instagram that there's a young girl who has a condition that needs help. And Riza Kayal, her name is uh, Eslam Fatma. And the if he wins tonight, the reward that he will get for this will go towards the treatment for her. So what he's doing off the mat is minimal compared to what he's doing off the mat. What a great person Riza Kayal is. Champion both on and off the mat, making a difference back home in Turkey. A source of national pride for over a decade. Just think about that for a moment, over a decade of success. World Championships in Istanbul back in 2011. World titles in 15, 17, and 19. He was the flag bearer for Turkey at the Olympic Games in Rio in 2016. I expect the match to go. Riza get hit with passivity in period number one. And then Sotnikov to get hit in period number two if he doesn't score here. And I think he will get some points near the edge. Referee says two. And it's overturned for four. The judge and the match chairman say four on that. So four points for Kaya Alp and just like that. Pretty uphill battle for Sotnikov. Wow. You know what that reminded me of? The 2016 Rio Olympic Finals against Mian Lopez in the opening frame, where Riza was in the same position that Sotnikov was and got tossed for four himself. So he learned from that experience, flipped the script, and used it for himself to pick up four in a, in a high level match. And great head movement. Not something you see too often from Riza. You know how powerful he is with his upper body, but his feet movement and his head movement here is something that I haven't witnessed from the Turkish big man. Adding a new element to his already highly successful style. We've wrestled nearly two minutes, 15 seconds. The four-pointer near the edge by Kaya Alps in the offense, Turkey. In the team race, hanging in there as well on this opening night of competition. Trying to stay among the top four. Georgia Azerbaijan. Pace slowing up just a bit as we hitch our way closer toward the end of the period. One last tug at the neck, and that is it after one period. Kaya Alp with a 4 0 lead. the only point exchange and they took a look at it to make sure it was two or four it was ruled four and now Sotnikov of Italy into the finals for the first time so what a feeling that must be when you look at the other side and see Kai Alp Sotnikov has been on top of his game the past day and a half propelling his way into this European championship Chance maybe to derail a little bit of history. It's Kaya Alp seeks number 11. And to think who he's chasing would be Alexander Karelin, and he knows Karelin has 12, and he stated he will be wrestling until he gets that 12th European title. And I wonder if he goes until 13. Or if he's going to be satisfied with just tying Alexander Karolin, when you think of a guy like Riza Kayab, how driven he is, I'm sure he's not going to be satisfied 
was sharing the top spot with somebody, he's going to want to take it over himself. He will want one name on that list, not a side by side. And I'm not sure we, we'll ever see that again. 11. Just incredible. It, it's incredible. To think about, you have to be great, but you also have to be lucky at some point. To think that he was able to get through his career, majority of his career, without ha having any serious injuries, just to compete at 11 European Championships is something in and of itself. But to win 11 European titles would be something that I'm sure he's extremely proud to say. The other part of it, too, for him is the ability to adapt. New rules, changing athletes as far as who you're facing. He has just accomplished so much. He's been able to go about his business, doing it his way, and then carrying the success that he's enjoyed on the mat, off the mat, and making a positive difference for so many in his home country of Turkey. Inside a minute to go, Sotnikov coming nowhere close to getting to any type of tie-up or position where Kaya Alps threatened. That's just the honest truth right now. And furthermore, when you think about he, the life transitions, getting married to his wife, Zenep, having their baby, Ayavera, he's now a father. His daughter's coming up on two years old. So it just... His life has changed through the course of those 11 European titles. But what hasn't changed is he's the man on top. When books are written, chapters are added about the sport's most ancient style of wrestling, Rizakaya Alp has made sure he has cemented his name among the greats. Number 11 for Riza Kaya Alp. And this crowd comes to their feet in appreciation for the greatness that this guy has brought to this sport. I was wondering how he was going to signal 11. He ran out of fingers for 10 last time we saw him, so he goes the, the double uno. There it is, number 11 for Kaya Alp. A mountain of a man both on and off the mat for Turkey.